This is Jake Browning stepping up in the pocket with a flag down. And Browning cut down. That thought it really hurt them not having him last week in the 51-33 loss at Washington State. Noise trying to play a factor as that play clock winds down. They get it off. Here comes pressure, picked up, giving Browning a time to take a shot, and blown coverage leads to first and goal. That's a big play. And now Browning walks into the end zone for the Washington touchdown. There is a flag down. It looked like Browning taunted his game. Yeah, and this is part of their run game. It's the zone read. Now, usually they've got, uh, you can see the taunting there. It's been the whole package so far this year. Works out of the gun on second and eight. Oregon bringing pressure. It's picked up. Deep ball. John Ross knocked away at the last moment. On third and eight, more pressure for Oregon. Browning sees a window and takes off for a first down. He's already rock about when you look at Jake Browning as a quarterback, is his ability to be mobile and take care of the football. A part of it's deciding to run sometimes on third down. Down in 10, 46 yard line. Javon Dotson motions out. Browning sets up. Pumps one for Ross, who makes the first man miss. Suck. And dances his way for fifth. Some guys working in. That's, that's a tough task. Second down and five. Big Browning in the offense back to work. Underneath. Wide open to Ralph Daniels. The tight end has now, but out with an injury. On second and two, Browning looking short side, steps out of pressure, keeps his eyes downfield, uses his legs to make it first down and goal. But now top 10 in the country, scoring close to 50 per game. On second and goal, they throw the fade for John Ross, who juggles and pulls it in for the Washington touchdown. This drive begins from the 21. With a Browning throw into the flats. Drew Sample, one of the many tight end being Brady Hope coming in, switching from the 3-4 to the 4-3. Gave up more than 37 per game last year. That was a score record. Browning a deep drop and a deep throw. Fuller gets loose, but Browning overshoots it. Washington empties it out. Here comes a corner blitz. It gets home to Browning, but he stays on his feet and extends the play. Daniels has it, but he went out of bounds. And now a flag comes in. So in the final seconds here of the first quarter from the 21-yard line. Miles Gaskin broke one off for 65 yards the last time he touched it. It's in there to block and release on a screen. And Gaskin reverses field for a first down and a gain of a dozen. Justin Hollis, 12 in a row against Oregon and led for a total of 10-18 during those games. They led for more than 13 minutes in the first quarter here. And they start the second quarter with a completion to Pettit. On second and 14, Browning zips a slant into pressure. Pettis pulled down by Schooler, but they set up a man four from the 48. Browning scrambling around die. Try to turn the corner, but can't. Browning throws one on one. John Ross out there. Browning feeling pressure. Tucks it, goes down. Oh, this. Jake Browning did all he could to try to buy time as the pocket started to break down. Let's see, TJ Daniel initially got that. He actually makes him a good puller, but as you can see in the long run, not necessarily as much strength blocking sometimes. Browning to throw against pressure. One on one to the end zone. Perfectly thrown, and John Ross has his second touchdown of the day. Pressure on third down. Browning has it knocked down. Jake Browning, 10 of 13, two touchdowns, no interceptions. All day to throw. Perfectly in rhythm, it's Dante Pettis. 
Stopped by Arion Springs as a high schooler at Folsom outside Sacramento. On second down and one, he'll throw again. Well protected. And now gets rid of it just in time to Levon Coleman. And it's first and third and one. John Ross in space, first down. Spins his way to the 15. And two plays called. The second one is another throw to Ross. First half of Washington. Browning on a quarterback draw. Coleman gives him a block and gets him a touchdown. Sec but watch as they run a little quarterback draw. You're going to have Coleman push up to be the lead blocker. And it's Browning with the vision to cut back, make Coleman right. And they have continued all of that into this season. On first and ten, Browning sails onto the outside for Ross, who has his by himself 179 to 73. Now it's John Ross making a great adjustment for the catch. It's not just the speed. Down in five. Browning with a fake. Floating to the end zone. Ross has it sailed over his head. Third offense. They do bring it. Browning gets rid of it quickly. Dotson makes a cut and it's first after a half. Throwing the fade. John Ross is out there and he gets another touchdown, beating Malik Lovett. Third of the day for Ross. They got four redshirt freshmen. They'll be there one day, too. John Ross starts his play in the backfield, motions out. From the 28 yard line, Browning scans the field, taking an end zone shot. Pettis out there for another opportunity at a catch, but he couldn't hang on. Browning throwing in zone. Pettis one-handed. No signal yet. Was gone the last year with an injury. Slid from outside linebacker to the end with that shift in defense. Browning wants one-on-one. -on -one. Down the sideline, John Ross can't run under it. This That's the first down. Now what is turning into a career night for Dante. Browning throws. Nearly intercepted. It's a screen. Dotson's got it. There he goes. Jamon Dotson runs by the secondary. He's in. Touchdown, Washington. Time plays, but this is again Jonathan Smith with a perfect play call on third down. It sets up the screen, and look at that. No one in the picture right now. Dotson with enough speed to be able to get by the last defender.